It's only those who like us who will uh, like them. You do for me. I do for you. You do for me. I do for you. You push me. I push you. So it's just what it is. Their interest. So Obasanjo has come out uh, to say is rejecting Kolu as well as uh, Adimeru. Oh, sorry. You don't know who Adimeru is. That's Atifku now. So if you want to see uh, Tifnumbu or Atifku, the other code name, if Atifku become your presidiot this 2023, his own uh, code name, I'm not supposed to say I'm for public. Sure you get. Now, eh? Uh, the Aura Secret Service or whatever it, it is, security code name, Adimeru, that's Atifku. Call you, that's popular. We have to like get used to that. If call you become your presidiot, eh? If you are speaking in code, when you say call you, people will know who know who you are talking about. So you say president call you or president eh, Adimeru. So if I mean Oban uh, uh, Paro Obasanjo rejected them, and they want to put their last fight eh behind the obedience. See. You know me, I know they vote. And I know get anybody where they encourage to vote. Sure you get. But somehow, somehow, eh, we are waiting for what will happen if eh, Nigeria, Nigeria you, if the criminal, the criminals, if they criminal you, we want to see your reaction. Sure you get. People like us are just like to say, ah, wait till you go God do now. I'm all like, oh, shit you. I, I go be. You go just forget them. Um. You go wait for when next. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? We'll, we'll be here. We'll be the shoulder to. And if you pull it off, eh? And OB become your president. Oh, sorry, president. Some of you feel like, uh, where are you exactly? My ego? You know, I have no stake in all of this. But the reason why you obedient are always going to be very, very valuable is because you are the karma. Sure you get. It is like the clash of the titans, eh? which means the energy, the, the drive to drive it, to drive whatever will happen after longer and lasting now in get time. So we need to encourage you to do anything, do your worst, anything where you want to, eh? will be here. Some of you will say you are a hero if you feel chase this criminals you are thinking. But at the back of the mind, don't forget to, eh? Some of the criminals who brought us here, they are the people who are actually the people under the ship. Who they put, eh? Who they put that in where they make the ship run. As soon as be, eh? You cannot pretend that you are the one making it run. So whatever it is, now the shocker we are waiting for. It doesn't matter, as Obasanjo won't choose a Tifku, okay, he's always been telling everyone that uh, God won't forgive him if he, Obasanjo, put hand in anything that will make a Tifku the president of Nigeria. Should be they know themselves, Abi. My first warning for all of you is just a reminder. Not, it's not even a warning. It's a reminder. Whatever you do in 2023, Eh, whatever you engage yourself in in 2023, do not die in their war. They're not going to remember you. It's everyone that died in the course of all this madness in 2022. Eh, they don't bat 2022 law. If you don't want to bat 2023 law, eh, you better choose the kind of death you want to die. In any of the death that they offer you, don't die in their war. Are you with me? Mm? Anyway, it won't. The war started long time ago. And it was all about God knows what. Because if it's about looting Nigeria, or Basanjo, the chief looter himself, he did so well, right, that he continued to brag, I am the most investigated. most investigated. From what we heard here, yeah, apart from the fact that uh, Obasanjo Farm Nigeria Limited, OFNE, eh, was Operation Feed the Nation. And the story we get be that because we realize that uh, most of the locations of where you have Obasanjo farm all over Nigeria, they used to be the locations for the federal government project called Operation Feed the Nation. 
how come they can't change that? They say now name the since it's now OFN Operation Feed the Nation or Basunjo Farm Nigeria. What's the difference now? Just paper, small paperwork. So you get when he was coming out of prison, they said all those things have been mostly have been confiscated. It was when he became president again, he returned them to himself. That's corruption. Today, he has the largest and the biggest farm in all over Nigeria as former president who came out of a prison from what we heard though with just 20,000 naira in his bank account. That's what we heard. Some of you in Domi generation, you may not understand. Most of the history they told you about these people are lie. Most of them are lies. You're going to find them out when you are a little bit uh, older. Don't worry. Don't rush yourself. Majority of them, they contributed to what you are witnessing today. Eh, Kajiko? So, Oba Sanjo made it clear that waiting at Tifku did as vice president, Shineke me, if all of Una know, but I think the one that pained him most was the one that they said Atifku made him prostrate for him before Atifku could give Oba Sanjo the consent, the go ahead to go for second term. They said Obasan John never forgave him for that. And all since then, it's how to make sure that Atifku is what? Is jailed. But is Atifku a thief? Of course he is a thief. Are there evidence? Won't Yapa be anything? Let me give you one or two of them. Atifku has a wife. Her name is Jennifer. She's based in America. Atifku's wife, right, at a point, was on trial for helping Atifku to move over forty million dollars from Nigeria to America, go and Google it. You see there, Jennifer Atiku. There is also somebody called Jefferson. That one is a man, okay? A man like as of representative members in Nigeria is an as of is a Congress member in America. Jefferson Atifku was in charge of Nigeria economy. Atifku was in charge of selling all the, the federal government uh, properties and the rest. When Obasanjo was storing the world, asking for debt forgiveness, Atifku was selling Nigeria as cheap as he could to his own pals who are holding those things in trust for him. Obasanjo knows that. And for those who have been Atifku's friend, the war between Atifku and Obasanjo for the past uh, 10, 15 years, seriously, most of his friends have always been the those who have felt it more. Because Obasanjo don't know where all these things are. But corruption, no, if you fight corruption, don't let anybody lie to you. If anybody tells you that uh, he's fighting this for your sake, corruption can't fight corruption. Never. It's just the, it's just the spirit, the cause supremacy that is between them. Obasanjo is so scared that uh, Atif could be second in command, could do all of that. What if, when, what will happen when he becomes the one in command? May everybody just go sleep. And wake up in any country they sold you to. That's Obasan. Just remember, people like Obasan just believe that they know what is best for Nigeria. I think the most thing that uh, really, 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 really annoyed him was the bruising of his ego when they said he prostrated for Atifku to get second term. He never forgave him for that. And recently, Wiki was referring to that. Yeah, he was. Let me do so, so. Hang on. I think that's. Uh, yeah. But we forget history. In 2002 and 2003, when President Olusegun Obasanjo wanted to run for second tenure, a whole president wanted to run for a second term. He knelt down before his vice. He knelt down before his vice presidential candidate, a vice president, and said, "My vice, please allow me to run." You know the condition he gave him? One of the conditions, you know what he gave him? Tony Anini must be sacked as Minister of Works. And Tony Anini must not be the President of Campaign Council. Obasanjo obliged and sacked Tony Anini as Minister of Works. And removed him from President Council and brought him back to South South. And people are talking. This is a president, a president. His own vice giving him condition. A retired general. He knelt down. My vice, please allow me to run for a second tenure. And he was given conditions. This one we are not even doing. So now I think that's more reason why. Eh? 
Alba Sanjo will do anything to stop Atifku too. But is stopping Atifku is just to pave way for a Miloko as well. Using the power of incumbency, I think that's where the whole confusion is. And I am happy that uh, we are not currently seeing headlines here and there. Uh, pastor so, so, so said there, now this person could be your next friend. No pastor, no fake goddamn pastor premier in Nigeria that is going to tell you who is going to be your president or how is 2023 is going to be. That's how much confused the situation has become. So Pastor John, uh, sort of had probably drafted his own trusted person who could undo the battle that they want to also fight with you, obedient, when they brought this man, Oshuntokun. He was facing the media. I'm coming back to with the Wiko and then Atifko. But Oba Sanjo brought this guy who happened to be a pre, I mean, a senatorial candidate of Z Labour Party. Yeah, he is now the DG campaign for Obi. So 2023 is year. The political firework is about to start. Let me take you quickly to that Oshuntokun. The first time he's, he faced the media answering question. Yes, listen. But well, let me tell you something. First and again, uh, when well, the question of uh, morality, right? You know, at the risk of being immodest, you know, I think I will be very, very one of the very few, you know, politicians in Nigeria who have been very, who has been very morally consistent. I'm a journalist. You know, and I write a column for newspaper. I've been writing for this day for the past uh, nine years. Anybody who has been reading my column will know that the position I am today is logically so consistent with what I have preached along the way. Uh, so, and to tell you uh, the truth, right? I won't mention the name, but I will tell you that I was directly invited to come and lead the campaign of one of the one of the three frontline presidential candidates, and I declined. Uh, it, it was painful for me to decline because the person in question, the presidential candidate in question, I have a very good personal relationship with him, but principles and principles, and if we are preaching. It was a test, you know, of my own uh, of my moral position. Because a man is not tested until you are confronted, you know, with a challenge to which you are asked, you know, you have to respond. So as I said, so taking this step is not the implication of saying that uh, it is morally inconsistent, it's absurd in the extreme. The position that I've taken in the past decades in Nigeria, is a sacrificial position, right? I didn't make myself the DG of this campaign. Neither did I make myself the, 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 the Southwest coordinator of the campaign. You know, it's, it is, it came out of a reputation, out of my own belief of what is good for Nigeria. I mean, if you, okay, let's include the co-consul. Of the four presidential candidates or presidential tickets, which one do you think? Let us speak candidly. I'm not talking about Seneca, as you say, somebody can win, somebody cannot. Which of which one of the four presidential candidates will you say objectively is in the interest of Nigeria? None of them is balanced, right? Two of them contradicts the idea of nation rule. Which power rotation is expected to promote? The other one cynically, I mean, went for a, I mean, the same faith ticket, Muslim, Muslim ticket. Is that in the interest of Nigeria? You know, so why should I find it difficult to now go for that? And then say that I'm, I'm, I'm being bad or, you know, uh, being drawn back by senatorial ambition that I have. I think you're fairly responsible of me. I've taken a very conspicuous public position, you know, on who should become the next president of Nigeria. Yeah. It's unambiguous. 
In fact, the first anybody well, those who have spoken to well, anybody who, if you go by that criteria of where this man has to, you know, shouldn't ask me that question, should not ask me a question about morality or where I stand. It is clear cut. It's on Those of you who have not had been stable, you move from PDP to here. You move from here back to PDP. Those of you who made campaign in 2015, telling Nigerians if they vote for PDP, they are voting for insurgency. If they vote for PDP, they are voting for corruption. Wait, all of us will reply. We'll tell Nigerians this thing you said, how far? What the what is this stand now? Is it the same PDP or a new PDP? I'm not out! I'm not out! We can't don't mind them. 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 do everything as well to make sure that uh atif cool like deliberate right atif cool if not by fire by force eh he go have to remain in that dubai are you with me so let me introduce the uh, wiki officially because i don't think uh it's uh it's right just to to make it look like a glimpse uh give me one second so officially with the wiki Let's go to wiki side. This is 2023. In 2022, where the wiki promised us a showdown in 2023. And according to him, he's not been asking for too much after being played by the Atif Kuse national political trick. And he saw the betrayer firsthand. And the people who betrayed him are bold faced. And according to him, they are not done. They continue to undermine him. And they were even promising they will send him to jail. For the fact that they are promising to send him to jail when Atif could become your presidiot. 
wicked don't lose them. So this is 2023. There are some few things I should probably bring to your notice or to your conscious uh, reminder so that uh, when things begin to unravel this year, don't forget how they all started. Hmm? Now, where the wiki uh, met uh, with his team, uh, first thing first, where the wiki's policy is that uh, agreement is agreement. So, therefore, if you agree, eh, uh, according to him, it's only those who like us who will uh, like them. He do for me. I do for you. He do for me. I do for you. He push me. I push you. That's his policy. Do you understand? So, so far, so good. They believe that uh, Atifku is trying to play smart. Atifku is a northerner, a Fulani northerner, who is also angling to succeed the current Fulani northerner. By what Nigeria is, that is going to be a problem if that should happen. It won't bring any unity. Yeah, the criminals may be united to get their own uh, share of the loot, like APC, like are doing right now. But it will, it will never bring any unity to Nigeria. In fact, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that, that thing you are thinking, it will help facilitate or accelerate the breakup of Nigeria. That's exactly the job APC is doing as well. Nigeria is so divided. Trust buried. Uh, they don't even have the template of idea of how to, something that could bring any, everyone back to where we were before, where everybody still they pretend. Nobody is pretending anymore. We're just waiting for the, I mean, we're just waiting for the time. Bam, bam, bam. You just don't know where you're going to wake up to. You may wake up to Biafra tomorrow. This is 2023. Prepare your mind. Right? So APC, even upon all that, they still choose Muslim, Muslim tickets. They are not trying to ram that, that down the throat of everybody. Now, if they succeed, that is not going to bring unity to Nigeria. It's never going to bring peace. They are all catalysts to the eventual breakup of Nigeria. Mark it. Yes, they will use force. It's going to be bloody. It's going to be more violent. But look at them today. Look at what they have done. Imagine, what, look at what they have done in seven years, eight years. Okay. The last time Nigeria got, Nigerians, uh, everybody in Nigeria got so provoked, right? That war broke out. That was uh, 1967 to 1970. So if you have to say the war ended and the Cold War began, okay? The war ended in 1970 till now. Baba, that's 52 years. 52 years minus seven years. That's going to be like a 45 years. But for 45 years, they lied to everybody. APC exposed all that lie. And everybody now know where they are. They know where they belong to right now. Do you think they have any idea or template of how they're going to take you back to pre-2015? I don't think so. Now, APC is not slowing down. They have not done anything wrong. What have they done wrong? Eh? We've not done anything wrong. Everybody is just, is just jealous. Now, election go judge. And it's not an election. You know that. It's not an election. It's just going to be who is going to rig themselves out most. Whoever is the, whoever outrig one another, whoever the, the, the biggest outrigger, then that person will become the one that will say, we have won, we have won for Nigeria. They are not winning for you. You know that. Anyway, APC is trying to ram that down your truth. So the obedient who are already tired of the entire system, according to them, no, we're not going to agree. APC, PDP, nah. Some of you have no idea what you are up against, or you do have an idea of what you are up against. But I'm not sure. Maybe I'm the one who don't know how prepared you are for this. Some of you are saying this is your last chance. If not, if not, if you, if they will go kill you, make them kill you. Baba, I envy you. But that 2023, where you they talk about six months ago. Now that 2023, we did so. Eh? If death come, value them very well. That's the point. Because eventually it's going to happen. A lot is going to happen. Don't pretend that uh, you have no, no clue how they all started. So over the weekend, where the weekend was talking about his meeting with uh, Kolu in London, okay? Now, he was kind of upset. Like, why are you worried about the meeting? Kolu was in London, okay? It's been confirmed. He was in London the same time the G5 people were in London. But Kolu is now in, in Mecca. I'll take you there soon. Don't worry. Uh... Where the wiki was like, what's your business? If I meet anybody, if I meet anyone, I will take pictures, which is true. But this particular one, you won't. No, you won't. 
just like Atif could won't take any picture with those APC governors from Northern Nigeria. He's been meeting in Dubai as well. Baba, a lot is going on. Oh. They are negotiating over your head and your future. Oh. Some of you have no idea. They look like zombie here and there. The day where they go pay, they go say, yeah, God, they charge you. Anyway, don't worry. When the UK said, what's your business if I met anyone? Like, what's the I'm meeting with so -so and so -so. What is your problem assuming that there was a meeting? Has Atik not be holding meeting with governors of APC? Ask him. Ask him in Dubai. Don't you know what's going on? So, why do you bother about us? G5 that you say you can win without us. Leave us uh, alone. She's your mama, bond them, then they never said it. She's your papa, bond them, then they never said it. She's your mama, bond them, then they never said it. We can show them the way. I'm waiting for that announcement. Obasanjo don't make no announcement. And from what we were told, oh, sure you get. That's something about Nigeria and, uh, and the Niger Nigerian politicians and their politics. When you hear something, they say, nah, rumor, oh, nah, rumor. You know, it is a lie. It's a rumor. Then it will happen. Right? And they will say, uh -huh, uh -huh. What's the big deal? Uh, okay, everybody would start. Uh, everybody would start uh, acting surprised. <gasps> the news are having a more while calm down. Not to, not to give us that kind of vibe, yeah. So when we came met with uh, Tifnumbu in London, and immediately after that, just like it was in uh, sometimes in April, okay, where Kolu was uh, in, uh, it was in Mecca, and then uh, and today is he was in Mecca, right? where he went there to pray. And he took this picture. I think there's some family who met with him uh, to greet with them in Saudi Arabia, uh, Mecca, where Kolu is currently praying, okay? To, uh, uh, what do you call it? To uh, Almighty Allah, uh, that this is 2023. We don't enter 2023. Oh, Baba God, mm -hmm. I don't understand what in Buhari they do. Every time we told him that uh, this Mefioli is going to make it difficult for us to move cash, we thought this nonsense is doing. But Kwari is not, it's not, it's not, it's not giving me the clear answer. We are asking him about uh, these beavers. Eh? How, what are we going to do about these beavers? So that uh, all these people who are believing that their PVC could do anything. Kwari is not telling, he's, he's, he's issuing a press statement telling people that if they see anybody, that a uh, rig election, anything, anything, they shoot them or kill them, blah, blah, blah. So we will go pray oh, as some of you are back home saying, God, I beg you, antibacterial. Eh? Some of you believe that uh, whatever it is right now, even if you know if you afford anything, you will try to get yourself a common sense and get yourself uh, this tablet. God, I beg. Antibacteria. Here you get. Anyway, going forward, with the wiki back home, he's not just talking about those, uh, the cheating, what they did to him. With the wiki is talking about what he said is the intention of those around the Tifku who are just coming to come and uh, milk Nigeria, sell you off, blah, 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 all those things, yeah? But this is somebody who is saying that from within, as somebody from within, trying to pretend that uh, he cared about you. But somebody visited him before this statement. I'm going to play you one, okay? And this is the guy they sent. Baba, come now. No, we said to this thing. I have no two hard like this. Here you get a night before this meeting, where they caught with the wiki, having his own motivation as, uh, you know, motivational species, which is uh, his, uh, foot soldiers, one evening like that. I got, I told them, Gibbas is a quiet man. He's a Christian, born again Christian. I am not a born again Christian. I'm a Christian, but not a born again Christian. I told him as when they slap me, I told him here. Me, if you slap me here, I don't know what I will survive the other one. I'll blow your head off. If you push me, I'll push you. Touch me, I'll touch you. You get that? He is a Christian. But he is not a born again Christian. If you slap him this way, he will blow your head off. And I think that's exactly what he was doing. 
when he started there telling the river reverians that uh, let me tell you, let me tell you what's in the ground. No, I mean my open book. Do you have the time to listen? Where the wiki just about 48 hours ago. When they returned, the G5 returned from London. If you don't mind, please listen. As I speak to you, the total money paid, hundred percent on that road. Not we are not paying a dime. Thirteen point seven billion. Hold on. Well, what that money number billion road? Billion jetty. 3.2 billion. As I speak to you, we have paid in 3.2 billion. Marine gas jetty. We are one of 3.9. We have paid in 1.1 billion. 10% job only done. Now, under the unity of Bobo Road, the total sum. Outside the one hour of the totally in our government, 20.8 billion. We have paid 18.7 billion. Job done, 61%. Now we have paid 90%. Now, what do you have to do? I have to do Awarded at the cost of 11 billion, paid 5.8 billion. Now, if you add everything we have paid out of a 50 billion dollar job, we have paid 43.9 billion. Hey. Now, second is what you want me to do. Second is what you want me to do. Mention any state in this country that you may have supported somebody and the person appreciated and said, Do this. So you don't tell me my benefactor. You're not the one who made me governor. For you to make me more governor, you must be the one that sponsored the election, you not? For you to be able to sponsor me to the government. So you are deceiving Nigerians. Rather, I should be a benefactor. How am I a benefactor? When the issue of national chairman came, people of Sudan Labido, all of them, oppose you that you should not be national chairman. Oppose you that you should not be national chairman. I said, no, you will be. Adia Sakibo, Osuna Barak, John Sakibo, Lee Meba, Tiras Nomeha, all of them, all of them met and said you should not be national chairman. I called a meeting in government house. Chiba who said you are here. Fela Lababa, you are here. Pari you are here. Most of you, I call it it. As they said, as the new time has come, when we must have to build ourselves and trust each other. This period is not a period of this man who can't trust him, this, 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 no. One assessor is okay. He never stood up and said he's disappointed in all of you. Is it what we agree? That will you ask them. Is it what we agree? We say we are going to talk about second to should not go. I bought the state aircraft. I made sure everybody stuck to that, nobody ran, even though from the southwest. So I'm your benefactor. It can't be my benefactor. You must tell people the truth. And the question I asked was that every job that was given to you under order, to the people of Andoni, 
Nation one, nation one. All these 38 years, gave me job as state party chairman. They are people. Nation one has been completed. Instead of you to answer, you say, I must not be in office for Don't I know that I have eight years to be in office? Two years ago, I left the government house. If I want to remain in power, I will go to run for Senate. I'm not like you. You wanted to be national chairman first to impose your nephew or cousin as you may call him to be governorship candidate of PDP. I said, don't here, don't work. We want to kick you out first. And we did. Of course. Are you out? What's your minute? I don't kick you out first. I see you telling people that nobody has power to expel you yourself in it. And that's what is going to matter now. It's you and court. October 23, 2023. <laughs> It's not to me. When did you see that you speak the grammar? But for now, did you complete the tenure? If they have no power, why didn't you complete the tenure? You are not the national convention. So tell people the simple truth. Oh, I didn't, I didn't say no, you know, the noble that has, that has a skeleton. I'm not going to have a skeleton. What is the skeleton? 2008, you took me to EFCC when I was in Boston. Did I not defeat you before? I defeated you before. You took me. I won you. Now to go for it. So what is all this? What I'm saying, you can't speak for rivers people. Yes, sir. Now what I'm saying, can I speak for rivers people? Yes. yes. Why can I speak to them? I have defended reverse interests several times. You have not defended reverse interests. That is the issue. And therefore, no reverse one will listen to you. You were a minister. I said, what did you bring down for reverse people? That would make reverse one to not listen to him. So, so while he was a minister, see what will benefit him. That is the issue. Ask me, when I was a minister, what did I bring? But I must say, should listen to me. A, B, C, D, E, I did. Yes, so they pay attention, or make sure you are paying attention as they will begin to dig themselves and drop themselves, uh, themselves out there. For whatever it is, we are still waiting for that announcement, like I said. However, there is uh, actually more. There's more. Okay, so we expect uh, with a week. To make his announcement and i bet apart from the out all these things right i think atifku and gang somehow somehow are still trying because you see there was a time that uh udom autumn they were with where the stressed out he came here for politics i said i came here to see my brother we're here to share with ourselves and uh, especially that today is 31st of uh, December, uh, is the end of the year 2022. Today, we're going to go to 2023. And uh, we shared among ourselves how can we best add value to our government, how can we best add value to our people, how can we do things that uh, we help add value to our country, Nigeria. And uh, if there are any issues uh, in the past which we have done wrong, uh, we look at it and uh, say, look, uh, let's forgive one another and move forward. That's it. No, those are, they are private issues now. They are private issues, not anything more than that. They are private issues, so. Are you aware that um uh, Governor Tom and I and some of my colleagues traveled and um, uh, Governor Tom, when he had it, was coming and said, let him wait and uh, let us on a bit. 
Uh, private relationship politics is not what should divide brothers and divide uh, friends. Everybody knows my relationship with uh, Udom and uh, we'll continue to maintain that relationship. We may have a uh, different political uh, affiliation or thinking. That, uh, that should not you know, divide uh, or create the, the, brotherly uh, love. the brotherly love or create a gap. So, like I said, it's all of the spirit of um, uh, the birth of Christ and all going to a new uh, new year, they need to continue with that uh, relationship as brothers and friends. So, anything politics were not part of that discussion. Nothing politics was uh, <laughs> we discuss at all at all. Thank you. If it's all about the season of uh, forgiveness, no politics or the rest, eh? Well, you don't believe that, do you? Uh, better, you don't believe that too. It was still all about this. I'm giving, the, I'm showing you the faces of these uh, actors that are going to determine and decide what is going to, to I mean, the event that will lead to what will happen in this uh, 2023. But if they say now nah, season of uh, joy, all right, maybe we should just quickly go and dance uh, with uh, Bokuari of Abba. Have you seen this before? Eh, Bokuari of Abba. Festive period, they called it. <laughs> Just in the spirit of a uh, festive season, okay? But you know that's not true. Uh, but I have a few reminders. Just so, I mean, as you are entering 2023, there are some lies. I uh, see. Oh, sorry. Go create one. I want, I want it down. Beg you. There are some propagandas, lies, sponsored by Nigeria, as well as said uh, their affiliate, especially if on uh, what is going on in Eastern Nigeria. Me, I like holding on to something. When I see politicians barely say, they barely tell the truth. You know that. When a politician says the truth, it is a mistake. They will do everything to correct that mistake and take that back if they can. I am Mayegun, and my platform is called the Mayegun's Diary Politico. Polit Politico that is uh, recorded in a diary, digitally and otherwise. There are some lies they told you. They've been telling you them. Some of you have been carrying these lies year in, year out. As you are going into 20, as you are now in 2023, I just need to remind you, Biko, Dakun, Negodu, See, Sha, please, what are these lies? IPOB is not a terrorist organization. IPOB is not responsible for the insecurity in Eastern Nigeria. IPOB is has nothing to do with unknown gunmen. Every violence and propaganda they have told you all this while, the lies have sort of so much repeated and repeated again and again. And some of you believed that. This is 2023. Don't come in with them. Are you with me? Unam Dikanu is not a terrorist. Right now in Nigeria courts, all the cases brought against Unam Dikanu, he has defeated Nigeria. These are facts. And as you are watching this video, it is also a fact that uh, Unam Dikanu, by law, cannot be tried in any court in Nigeria. That's what your law says. Not me. It's not me. Okay? Your court says... Nigeria must return Unam Dikanu back to where they got him. Do the right thing before they can then present him to any court in Nigeria. They can't try him anywhere. They can't even try Unam Dikanu for any crime right now. That is also a fact. If you don't believe me, I know I told you you don't believe politicians because they hardly say the truth. But would you remember that the man that has spent so much on killing the egos 
especially opening the gate of hell to the terrorism that is happening in eastern Nigeria today. The single person that I personally did so much to remind all of you, and with facts too, that uh, the moment hopeless Uzo Dingba or Uzo Dinjo became the Supreme Court governor of uh, Imo State, it was like the open gate of hell. Eastern Nigeria became the pilgrimage for the repentant terrorists that are now wearing Nigeria army uniforms with Nigerian army guns. Hopeless Uzo Dingba. But if that person, that same person says, IPOB is not responsible for everything going on in Eastern Nigeria. It is the truth that came out. You can say by mistake on this platform, it is on record. A flashback to this. It's the one killing people in our zone. It is not correct. Wicked politicians are sponsoring the killings in our law. Last week in Oberuru, the APC ward chairman was killed in his house. The APC secretary was killed in his house. The APC woman leader was killed in his house. I have crossed since the inception of this banditry. Not one PDP man has died. Not one PDP man and his house has been attacked or burnt. So it is very clear to me that these people are after APC. I am sorry for those who will come in a very naked daylight and want to be after government. Only a weak government can allow that. It is my hope that the people who are doing this will use the period of Easter and they repent. If they don't repent, government will come all out. I have decided to say this because the people behind this are also carrying the blackmail. They are the ones that will kill. They are the ones that will come out to blame government. I think we don't know what they're doing. I think their cup is now full. I just thought I should remind you there are many other propagandas already in stock for you for 2023. They always come like normal news. They come through so many mediums. You feed on them. Your conscious, your mind continue to process them. Events happen. You have to link them together and just to justify these propagandas that are not being proved in any of their own courts. All of those things you have read, all of those things happening there, some said it's just making a uh, um, Kanu's case uh, worse, yet no single, none of this is presented, uh, presented as any evidence that link any of these activities to the IPOB. Now, I know what you have heard. Of course, I've heard them too. And I have done my own part to say, if you dig deeper, you can see the hand of the criminals telling you the story. You can see their hand behind crafting the real story and putting up the action or actors behind it. This is 2023. Please try as much as you can eh, to feed less on their lies because there will be many and you will barely be able to differentiate them. I hope you'll be able to survive them. For those who know the truth, no matter the propaganda, they will continue to ask that an innocent man that has been denied justice should be let go. You can't be asking for peace, unity, progress, love, and all those things that they always love to drop in their speeches. Politicians, oh, you can't just be saying all those things. Why injustice, inequality, eh? and uh, tribal profiling? You see, when they say, uh, uh, I mean, uh, some people are racial, they're like uh, racist. Um, have you visited Nigeria? Have you lived in Nigeria? Are you a Nigerian? How dare you be so hypocrite to deny yours? Do you want to call it ethnicist? Tribalist? Call it racist. -y. Because ordinarily, yeah, they will say, oh, blacks are the same race. You haven't visited Nigeria. You should. An, an innocent person where they have cooked, cooked so much lies. Innocent people have been killed 
just to stop the wolves' ideas, the 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 as I mean, sorry, the wolves' ideas whose time has come. And even in their own court, they couldn't prove anything upon all of that. You might have bought the lies. The real indigenous people are not buying it. They are still demanding. Let him go. Viewers worldwide, this is the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, in Ohafia, Abia State, on a peaceful protest, demanding for the release of Mazen Namdekano. Today, the 31st of December, 2022. I just, I just thought I should, I should remind you. I always kind of prepare my mind, and when I see lies, propaganda, I could read through them by checking the source, who is sharing them and all of that. I could easily tell 2023 is pregnant. Some people are, I mean, some people are predicting what kind of delivery it's going to be like. On Mayogun's diary, political, I love uh, putting everything on your table. Do my best to analyze each point and allow you mm, to process them. At the same time, let time deal with uh, the rest. I've done the same na right now, and I want to say uh, thank you for being part of it uh, tonight. I am thinking maybe I should take calls. Then I'm also thinking, today's first. Uh, we could probably do that some other time. However, uh, if I'm going to take calls. Now, if you're watching me on YouTube, uh, where we have a lot of us uh, tonight, uh, you should uh, please, uh, I mean, like the video, okay? Like it, share it, and uh, still, if you are watching me on Facebook and you are not following me on YouTube, okay? I think you should, all right? So I've got something nice. I'm going to give it to uh, some of you this uh, week to say thank you for uh, being part of my own story too. Thank, I mean, thanks for being part of our community as well. And as we do, or we have been doing in the past a couple of months, so we will be doing the same thing this week. So all, you, all it's going to take is that uh, go on to my YouTube channel, like, subscribe, you know what I mean? Drop your offering. We we're almost at 2,000 of us earlier, but uh, we've only had uh, just few of us uh, who actually dropped their own offering. That is like the video. It doesn't cost anything. So I am going to take calls. But uh, taking calls means that uh, I am going to go and have a refill. When I get a refill, when I come back, I'll start taking calls. And we can have a chat for like about uh, half an hour, an hour. And then we can call it tonight. Don't go anywhere. Mm? I'll be back. And thanks so much, by the way, for your time.